know, there are 7,588 aircrew walking around today that probably wouldn't have been had it not been for the seat they're sitting in. Harrison Smith, tell me here, Martin Baker, and tell us what you do with your seats. Yeah, so we're the, uh, we're the, we're the world leading manufacturer of ejection seats. Um, as you say, 7,588 uh, crew lives saved to date. It's actually gone up by two, 7,590. Uh, there was an ejection two days ago, um, US Navy F-18. Um, but it's not just those lives, it's the lives of the families uh, of those, you know, of, of those people, those sons, daughters, husbands, wives, mothers, fathers, things like that. Um, so it's really, you know, quite a humbling feeling to, to be a part of that. Okay, now the company has, has been around for quite some time, but you're now, you've got different seats. Tell us about the latest one you have. Yeah, so the company's been around since actually uh, 19, 1929, um, so, so a British company. Um, our latest seat is a Mark 18, shown behind me here. Um, this seat is, has recently won the KFX competition out in South Korea um, and is, is, uh, is also um, qualified to fit into the F-16 aircraft, um, among other aircraft as well. Um, so it's a really exciting program. Okay, the F-16, very important uh, in the Middle East region. Yeah. Um, what other programs are you on in this area? Uh, in the Middle East, in the Gulf region, um, we're in a lot of different aircraft. We're in the, uh, the Hawk PC-21, KT-1, um, and then in the fighter aircraft, Rafale, Eurofighter, um, even F-35 in Turkey, things like that. So we've got, uh, we've, we've, we've got a lot of seats in service in this region, so we're really proud to be here supporting that. And what's the difference with this, uh, with this seat compared to some of the other ones you've had before? Uh, one of the key differences uh, is, is the neck protection device, um, which, which is shown there uh, on the headrest, the two circular, circular items. Um, so this is an inflatable device that, that, is, uh, that is activated on ejection, and it's to, it, it's to help stabilise the head and prevent any neck, neck injuries and things like that. Um, but also uh, quite a key feature on this seat is the not only passive leg restraint, but passive arm restraint, um, using a system that essentially engulfs the pilot's arms to stop any flail, because that's one of the key dangers when you're ejecting at high speed, uh, is, is, is limb flail. So it's a, it's a real step forward in that. Harrison, thank you very much, and keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Thank you.